Hello, this is David Birch at Star Path School of Navigation. And this video, we want to illustrate the use of the uh, heading line and the um, uh, COG predictor line to monitor our progress of a vessel underway. And we're going to do this by uh, doing a reenactment of the grounding of the uh, Ever Given. Um, and this is a, obviously a large ship. Uh, it's of 400, uh, 400 meters by about 60 meters, 59 meters. Uh, but uh, we have the same tools. We have exactly the same tools on our vessel as these ships have on theirs. And so here's, here's the main data we're watching. We're watching this heading line. Let me just start this out. We'll start the simulation. And I'll show, I have to show other videos about the simulation, how we set that up. I'll do that in another video. But this is just a heading line. That's just set that arbitrary 1,000 meters ahead of the boat. That's in line with the boat. This line here is a COG predictor line. That shows where the vessel will be based on its speed and heading relative to the ground in two minutes. So that's its position two minutes from now. As you see, the boat's turning right here, but it's actually moving a little bit to the left. So as long as this is on this side, the vessel is slipping over here to the left. And, you, and we'll see in the track. This is a track which we can later expand, you know, export and so forth. But we're gonna see that because this green line is over here, the, the COG predictor, let's see if we can follow the ship automatically and then uh, that's an auto auto follow and then uh, the track is going to slip off to the left and uh, we'll just watch this as as it goes north it's about an hour up there we're loading uh, we're loading uh, 10 seconds of data every three seconds let's see uh, this is a 1001, 1002, about every two seconds, every 1001, 1002, about every two seconds, <clears throat> we're loading uh, uh, 10, 10 seconds of actual data from the ship. So this was his actual heading, 48 and 048, and, his, and the making good 045. So here you see the boat's headed this way, but it's slipping a little bit, slipping a little bit to the left. And these are, this is a significant, well, I mean, in, uh, at least in when we're using this in our own vessels, we, we treat this as significant because it shows that we're slipping left. And we'll see that this track, this track is gently slipping over to this side. And if I right click this, I can ask for the uh, vector chart elements. See, that's 11 to 25. This goes from 11 to 25 meters deep, and this is 25 meters deep. The draft of the vessel is about, um, is about 15.7. So again, we see here it's headed to the right, but we always, which way the boat's really going, the ship is going, is that green line like that. Let me see, Command B. And let's see if that will auto follow. So we're gonna just follow this and just watch. We can probably go a little bit faster maybe. Um, <clears throat> this, has, this program has a unique tool for doing this type of replay because we can control how fast we replay it and then this uh, uh, records where we are within the replay. And again, I have to show a separate video to show how we created this reenactment. I'll, I'll tack that on right away, but I, I've so many, I start talking about these things so much I lose track. Okay, so look, here's the guy, the ship is turning left. Right here, right square in the middle of the channel, that's great. And it's turning left, but you see <coughs> the track then goes a little bit to the left like that. Um, and so, and here we're going up 156. Now we're headed across and um, Okay, so again, we always watch this. This now, when these two are lined up, the boat's going the way you think it's going. Um, but when this is off to the side, in other words, here he's turning left, but the boat is literally still moving to the right. Still moving to the right. And the track here is gonna get closer and closer to this edge. That's why we always teach, it's very important to watch. Now the track is going pretty much right parallel to that area and we have to look at uh, some of the factors that's involved and again here's turning turning left to try to get to the not try but to get to the other side of the to get to the center of the channel the canal and uh, now going straight and now turning left a little bit okay so now already 
okay, we're turning that way, but now we're still going that way. In other words, you're, you're getting over to this side, whereas when that green line got over here, it might be time to turn back. I don't know. It's hard to outguess. We don't know how what was going on, but there was, uh, in this case here, we're getting up towards the end here, and you see that it's turning to the right to get off this bank, but now the heading line is over here. It seems like it might want to turn back that way. But anyway, here's where the, the vessel went aground, and that is that track of what actually took place. Now we need to come back and fill in some details about what's all involved with a, with a type of trip like that and this particular trip.